everybody. Thank you for joining me today. I just wanted to do a video to show you something new that I'm trying. Um, I'm using my Artist Loft paints in black, uh, magenta, silver, and aqua green. All of my paints are mixed with my pouring medium mix that I made up of 60% Elmer's glue all, 30% water, and 10% flow troll. And if I have to thin them down, I use my mixture of 90% flow troll, 10% water. Um, it works really well. And that way you can just add a few drops at a time. I just recycle my bottles. Um, this is actually a GAC 800 bottle that I recycled. Um, but, and I use things like pudding cups and yogurt cups, things like that to mix my paints in. Each of these paints also have just a few drops of uh, OGX coconut milk. It is an oil that I put in instead of straight silicone. Uh, this actually has dimethicone in it rather than, rather than silicone. And I found that it works really well. Uh, what I want to do today is work on these hexagon tiles that my husband found for me at Lowe's. Found a really good deal on these and I've already taped the backs off and cut the edges um, so that they're nice and clean. And what I'm going to do is I've leveled each of these pieces because if your table is not level or your tiles are not level, your paint is going to slide off from one side to the other and you don't want to have that happen. So right now what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to layer my cups with some black, magenta, silver, and aqua green. And I may speed this part up if I can get it to work. I, I apologize again. I'm just learning the technical aspects of YouTube videoing that I'm going to work on getting some paint in these cups and then we'll flip them and tilt the tiles and see what we get. I want to try my hand at some coasters because there's a um, opportunity for me to potentially make some sales in the coming months at a local um, artist co-op. And I'm really hopeful that I can build up enough of a body of work that I can take some of my things there and, and um, begin to begin to share what I'm doing with others. I'm going to start, I want black on these and I want these colors to be able to pop. So I'm going to load these paints in my cups and just work one by one after I get the paint lighted. So bear with me for a moment. Let's give it a pop of color and restir that because it does have silicone in there. I want these to mix. I'm going to pour that from up high. I'm really hoping that these turn out pretty. And I want the silver in between these colors so that we can uh, get a break in the in the bright colors and get oh man, it's really looking pretty inside of these cups. I tend not to talk when I'm working, I'm sorry. But that may be a good thing. You guys may get tired of hearing my voice. And I think I'm gonna put a drop of black in the center of these again. I really wanted them to have that black background to, to pop really nicely. Let's see what we get. I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of black across the top of each one of these. Each of these are little one ounce cups that I've recycled as well. These are little medicine cups. Um, I buy these actually at a at a local pharmacy and I just keep these around for my when my granddaughter's here in case she gets sick and I need to get her medicine. And I use little droppers as well. I plan to do an injection pour um, coming up using those little droppers and injecting paint underneath layers of other colors. But for now I'm just gonna turn these upside down. And sit a moment.
people make this look so easy. It's a lot harder than it looks like it is, and my hands are shaking. I don't know why, but I guess I'm afraid of messing something up, but nothing ventured, nothing gained, and what can you do but try? I think I'm going to start with the back ones, so I can work forward, but we'll give it just a moment to let those colors drop, and then release them and see what we get. I'm hoping they're really pretty and bright. I want to be able to resin these and um, make them into sets that I anticipate using um, twine to tie like a package, and then I have a, a business card that I can attach to these. So I don't think I want to slide these. I think I just want to release the pressure. Let that fall. Pretty. I want to lose all that pretty black and purple on there. Let me hit that with a torch and see what we can get. Oh, that's really pretty. I, I know my camera setup's not the best, and I do apologize for that. can see this black and pink and green is really pretty and kind of losing the green I may not have put enough in there or I may need to tip some of this off and see what I get let me wipe my hands let me torch it again and see if I can bring any of the green up from underneath that but that's really really pretty Please keep a rag handy. I should be working with gloves, but I hate it because I don't feel like I can feel um, the piece that I'm working with. A little bit of green coming up around the edges on that one. Let's see what happens with this one. A little more green. Very pretty. I'll tell you that OGX silicone really does the job on these, on a painting. I don't care what you're working with, it really, oh, I'm losing my green again because oh, it might be the best thing. It kind of, you can see the green in the lacing. It's hard to see on the camera. I know that it is, but the green is coming up in the lacing with the silver and mixing. It's very pretty. I'll torch that one more time. Just mixed paint and there's just a bit of air bubbles still in these and I don't don't want bubbles being in my work. Let's see what happens with this one. Let's just gently bring this out. A lot of black in that one. I really want to see if I can bring that pink up and keep some of that green. This one looks a little different. Of course, they always do. You never know what you're going to get. That's what I love about paint pouring. And that's actually why I chose the name Serendipity Soul Acrylic Pouring, because with this medium, quite literally, you never know what you're going to get. I don't want to lose that pretty. Kind of looks like a lightning. Oh my gosh, there's a tiny little bubble in there that's green and silver and pink, and it's so pretty. But I love the uniqueness of each piece. I love that everything that you do, no matter what the outcome is, um, it's it's just stunning. It's you know, the colors that um, you can bring out in this art medium. It's just it's just amazing to me. It blows my mind every time I put my hands and paint on a canvas, how different um, everything is. As this is sitting, the, the green is really popping up in the lacing. I, I know it's really hard to see um, because of my lighting situation here, but uh, 
really trying to do what I can to get a better lighting set up in this room. I kind of took over my son's uh, old bedroom. And it seems like the green is all that's popping through on this one, but I see the pink and the black underneath it. I'm going to slide it around a little bit. Let's see if we can bring some of that out. Bring this back around. I'm going to torch that and see what I can get. I have to add a little bit right here in that cup and there's a little bit of pink and green left in this cup so I'll pour that move it around we can torch it and see what we get I really should have worn gloves with black paint. It's really difficult to get that off. Okay, let's torch this one. Oh yeah, there we go. Need a little more pink in there though. So it'll match. I'm not above drawing, a, putting a little puddle in here and sliding it around. When we do that, nothing ventured, nothing gained. These really look kind of electric, kind of crazy, the cells that you get. And you just, you sit here and you watch it develop. And that's kind of what blows my mind, is you can actually see everything working. As you're, as you're letting it move around on whatever base you're working on. In this case, these are ceramic tiles, but each one is uniquely different, but with the same colors, they look beautiful together. Let's retorch this one since I added paint. Let's see what we can bring up on it. I'm really pleased with these. The lacing on that last one's not as good as on the others, but. happy with this one. But what do you do? I want to stretch these out just a little bit. I know it's really hard for you to see what I'm doing, but pour that on here. Get the bigger cells laced on these. Stretch them out a little bit so you can see a little bit more of the green undertone in here. Really liking that one. I don't want to overwork it, but. Lost the silver in that one. You have to re-pour that one. At the very least, it'll have a base, but that's what I'm going to do. I'll add a little bit of black. Silver. Pour some pink. Some silver. And the green. black base on it already so I think I'm just going to do a quick flip let it sit release much better I think Really liking that a lot better. Let me 
torch that and see what happens. Colors are a little bit bolder on that. That's right here. Okay. I'm liking. Now I just need to move them and set them out so that I can uh, let them dry level. loving the lacing on this one. It's very pretty. Just trying to see if I can move it just a little bit more to get a little bit of that green up in this one, but with this one, the lacing and the green on this one is very, very pretty. There's just a lot of paint on here, and I'm just afraid if I don't move it around a bit, I'm going to have bubbles or something when it starts to dry. I'm loving how you can, it's, I know it's really hard to see, but there's a lot of really pretty silver and green lacing on these that turned out really nice. This one doesn't have as much lacing on it because it does bubbles. Let's see if I can, oh, here we go. I'll slide it this way a little bit and then back down. Much happier with those. Okay. I'll get these level, let them dry, and hopefully they'll turn out really nice. And I'll show you a final uh, picture of what they look like once I get them dry. I do intend to resin these. And uh, like I said, I'll bundle them into a set of these coasters. I really like these bright colors. They're very pretty. Um, hope you enjoyed this today. This was just a quick little video, trying to keep these under 10 to 15 minutes as best I can um, and not talk quite as much. But if you like what I'm doing, please feel free to give me a thumbs up on the video. Um, you can share this video if you like, and it would really help me out if you would subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm going to try to be uploading a lot more videos in the coming days. So uh, hopefully you can come along for the ride, help me put a little more beauty back out into the world. Thanks for joining me again and, and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.